Too cold, standing in the middle of the downfall, looking in the mirror, cause it's only you that you have to lose. Had a backward on a one way, trying to stop from running, but you can't wait. Bury all the evidence, you'll only learn when you crash and All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody. Okay, how is everyone doing? Hope you guys are doing phenomenal. All right, I actually just joined uh, the lobby. Um, so it looks like we should be good to go here. Um, it looks like the first match is actually going to be on check pay, uh, check pay, checkmate hard point. Um, I just want to make sure I got everything set up correctly. Um, let's see, turn the game audio up a little bit. Um, so I got to make sure I have the teams all correct. Um, okay, team one is Northwood because they're on um, blue side. Okay, so we should be good to go here. Um, uh, I'm ready. Let me just double check. Just double check and make sure we're good. Okay, sweet. This match ever gonna this match never gonna start. Now we're gonna start. I forgot the the stream is delayed. Okay, there is a delay on the stream. Just want to let you guys know there's like a 90 second delay. Um, I have to have that. Um, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, I just realized I probably should take off my webcam on the main screen. Hopefully I can figure that out. I just realized I'm probably not going to ha want to have my webcam on the main screen. Um, all right. I'm also going to actually get one of my friends in here. Okay, guys, I'm going to call him, start, start a nice little voice call real quick with my boy Supreme. We're gonna get my man Supreme on the stream. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're hopping into match number one right now. Um, let me switch screens real quick. Um, I probably want my camera off. Let me see. Um, okay, there we go. All right, sweet. So we got my man Yo Supreme you here. Hey, let's get it. All right, we got my boy Supreme in here. Um, I forgot. I gotta share screens with him real quick. Okay, I'm kind of costing. I'm trying to get everything situated here. Um, let me share my screen with Supreme. I, I realized that anyways, if you were like, 
Um, which I'm gonna call it. Um, actually, frick. I'm not sure if I can. How do I share my application with you? Cause like. Well, no, I got that. But what did it, I think it just be my screen one? Let me know if you can see my. Go go to application. Oh frick, I'm screwing up everything. <laughs> Wait, crap. How do I, uh, frick? I'm, I apologize, okay, chat? Wait, um, how do I switch my screen now that I've already put it on? Oh, wait, stop streaming. Okay. So share my screen and then go to applications. But for some reason, I don't see, COD doesn't show up though. Is it because I, because I'm tabbed out of it? Frick. So what, I should probably just put it in, um, frick it. I'll just put it in windowed full screen. Okay. There it is. Okay. This should be good. Go live. Okay. Are you, can you see it now? Hopefully. Wait, can you see it? Okay, bet. All right. So we're hopping into map number one. As you guys can see, we got Northwood currently up 35 to zero right now. Um, honestly, I have no idea how to <laughs> mess with this. So I'm kind of scared to mess with the COD settings. Okay. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. But I'm also playing on like weird settings, so it might freak everything up. But yo, as you guys can see, we got my boy Belipa starting off at seven and one, having a hot start, and Northwood's currently just taking over this game. Um, let's actually go on board with uh Slushy if I can get to him here. There he is. Alright, we got Slushy with this rocking the 74U. He's gonna have a player down to his left. Is he gonna be able to pick him up? Um, not gonna be able to oh, actually is gonna be able to get behind one player. Um things are looking good so far, Supreme. Frick, apparently they can't hear you. Apparently they can't hear my desktop audio. <laughs> it's chalked. I don't know why. I love this for me, dude. I don't know. Like, my... Oh, wait, what'd you say? I definitely is. Um, That was weird because they could hear my music, but that doesn't make sense why they can't hear Discord. Frick. Well, um... Frick, bro. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to hear you. But it doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, you're right. Like my... Frick, I think I might have to close my game out, though. I don't know if... Uh, okay, I'll check. Um, stream, audio... Oh, wait. I have my mic set to that. My oh my desktop audio is disabled. What the frick? Why is my desktop audio disabled? Where should they be? My headset? Um, I don't even see. I don't know if I see my headset on here. My white my controller is showing up. But no. Um frick. I'm not sure which one it would be. Because I see headset earphone, but this is wireless controller, I guess. Wait, talk real quick. No, that's not it. Yeah, I don't know why it's on my controller. I could try... Um... Try my... Ch yeah, oh wait. No. I scrolled down. There's something they're not on there. My headphones aren't on there. Everything else is on there. I can try system. Wait, talk real quick. Frick. I don't know what it would be. I I've literally, like, never... I would maybe just do default. Talk real quick again. No. My sound setting. It's on. My output device is on system right now. But I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, they can't hear the game either? Bro, there's no way. Bro, it looks like my desktop is I can't tell, I don't know if it might just be my game. 
So all my audio should be playing through mic. Dude, everything is just chalked. Dude, the thing is, my settings, guys, are way different because I use a mix amp, like a Go XLR mixer, so it's everything's not the same is the issue. Um, and for some reason recently, my computer's been freaking breaking, so I don't know why they can't even hear the game audio. Because everything's set to how I normally have it. I have it set to system. Um, yeah, they literally can't even hear game audio, I don't think. Freak, bro. I don't even know what to what to do. Like, I don't know what. Frick, man, so frustrating. Yeah, I don't know why, cause my my input device, my my in, my input device is my microphone, right? I don't think I want it to this. Let me try this. Hold on. Uh, I try, I try to switch it to broadcast stream mic. I don't think that's right though. I think I need to keep it on chat mic. Wait, it's loud? Wait. What happened? Wait, he said it's loud. Well, I think it's because I set my desktop audio. It, it looks super loud. Yeah, because... Well, for some reason... Well, the thing is, I don't normally have my desktop audio enabled, though. It all goes through... Uh, I turned it off right away. The reason it's delayed because I have a 90-second delay on chat. So, I just realized. Because I, I got the desktop audio to work, but I, it typically all plays through my mic, though. Like, my mic. All the audio should be playing through that. And for some reason, it's not. Um, I guess I can try doing the desktop audio again. I just got to turn it way down. Frick it. I'll just do it. All right. Hopefully that's good. I guess I'll just have to work with this for now. Hopefully there's no echo. Um, they should be able to hear. Wait, talk real quick, Supreme. Wait, Supreme, can you hear? Uh, I don't think it's picking you up, but it's picking up the game audio, I think. It's picking up everything except you. <laughs> and yeah, literally everything except... Everything but you, apparently. Yeah, frick. I don't know. I might just have to, like, freaking go without you, which is annoying, but... Just because, like, we're in the middle of the game. <laughs> so I don't want to, like... We just... We literally already passed through an entire game. And, like, I got the game audio working. I just... Um... I know, dude. The comms were good. And then everyone was like, well, I saw the chat and they're like, oh, wait, they can't hear audio. I don't know. Properties. It's just weird because I don't I don't ever have to switch my freaking my desktop audio, man. I don't ever have to, to mess with that. It's everything should be playing through my microphone right now. What I really need is Geo because I know Geo knows how to freaking help me. But I don't have time for that. <laughs> we don't have time for Geo. I mean, they can hear my game audio apparently now. They just can't hear you. Which is super annoying. Um, I mean, I guess. Stop streaming. I don't know what screen I want to share. I'll share screen three, I think. Okay. See, like this audio, I don't ever have this selected. I All my audio typically plays through this. You see this? My mic. And this is the setting I always have is my broadcast stream mix. That's that's what that's what I have for like mine. Yeah, it's just only doing the game. I don't even know what I would set this to. It's on default right now. Cause like I said, I would never typically do it like this. I guess, wait, hold on, I could try, uh, actually, I don't know, I don't know what it would be, I don't know which one I would, system, because system is like, by talking, no, because I know I have, I know I have my voice settings set up, I have my chat mic, and then chat is set up for my output, so I could try switching it to chat, let me try switching it to chat, this is what, talk real quick, Hello. It, okay, it picks up now, but that means I'm gonna have to set two different desktop audios. Is that possible? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, just uh, yeah, just you should be able to just click in there and add one. I think I can go from here, audio. What, you want desktop audio too? 
Yeah, desktop audio too. And then what was my what would my game be? My game default. I think was just that default and it should work. Okay. Let's see. Hey, maybe we yeah, now turn your audio down. Oh yeah, great. Do halfway. That's gonna be loud. Yo, let me know how uh, Supreme sounds, guys. If you guys could, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Okay. I think you guys should be able to hear everyone now. I need to join the game. I feel bad, but dude, I, I was not expecting to run into these issues. I don't ever have. I shouldn't say I never, I don't ever, but I typically don't have audio issues. Um, I need to make sure, hold on, I need to make sure I have the sides correct first. I'm pretty sure I got to switch the sides once I get in the game. Because they're I'm on gonna, the red uh, side. I'm going to definitely see if I can hear myself real quick on okay. your stream. You're good. Team settings, I need to swap teams. This time, Northwood is, wait. When you get a sec, just uh, change the... Um... How do I know if I have the team set? Is the blue logo, that means the blue logo is the blue team, right? Yeah. But I want Northwood to be the red team. Change, um, or lower the desktop audio, the first one, because it, it's loud. Yours? Yeah. Okay, I turned you down. Because when I, when I go into swap team settings, it just, like, I don't think it actually, I don't know how it swaps it. Right, yeah, no, I can, I can hear myself now on the stream. Wait, do you see my screen? How I like I'm trying to click swap. Wait, I gotta share my I'm gonna share my screen with you quick. Yeah, okay, I'm looking through the stream. Wait, okay, look through my screen on o OBS quick. Okay, okay. do you see how? Yeah, we're good to go. Wait, hold on. I'm telling wait, don't start it yet. You guys good, please? Okay, um, okay, so see the team settings. This this round Northwood's supposed to be on red side. Team one is going to be uh, the top team. So that's which is blue. Team two. Is so going to be so blue. I need I need them to be on blue, but it's not working. Like I need I need Lakeland to be on blue. But see when I click swap teams, it doesn't. Did it actually no, no, work? No, you should be fine. You should be fine. So th these settings should be good here. It should or should be I switch back? On it because team one would be the top team, team two would be the bottom team. The team one should be Lakeland. Hopefully it does it. All right, we should be good. I can barely hear them in game audio. Oh well, frick it. <sighs> All right, let's hope the sides are right. If not, then I don't freaking know. But all right, all good. Hopefully we should be good to go now. Um, all right guys, I apologize once again. Okay, let me know if anything sounds too loud I know there's a delay, but let me know right away if the game audio sounds too loud But you guys should be able to hear supreme now. All right currently northwood university. Uh, all right, the teams are right awesome So currently northwood is up 1-0 in the I think this is a best of three It's either a best uh, of three or best of, be best of five. I think best it is a best five. of five. Yeah, so would have been last for best of three. Okay, so Northwood is currently up 1-0 in the series with a very dominating fashion, 200-point club. I think it was like 250 to 49 or 50 or something like that. But we currently got Mick Dirty rocking the bomb. It looks like Lakeland's going to be trying to push over towards that um, A site. Um, yeah, so far they actually got some pretty good uh, map control here. Big thing are going to be these players in the middle map, um, 6 and 5. They're going to try to double-team out the um, this could be a big kill coming onto the bomb right here. I get one out and he could get a two piece. But he does get taken down. Um, this number eight, Reba, last map has been going big. Uh, he did start out seven and one, I think it was. Eight, eleven and two, something like that. But Reba just went big for the team. Nice two piece on bomb. They got info, even though it was a 4v4. Sheesh! That was a nice two piece. Reba, oh my. A man's got the snapper. Look at that. Now they're starting off 1-0 and in this s &D. They're just keeping the momentum rolling from that uh, hard point match on uh, Checkmate. Very dominating. Bleepo once again popping off. 2-0 and start. And uh, Slushy currently nothing to his name. But hey, you know, doesn't even matter. His teammates are doing everything for him. And uh, looks like they're going to be uh, double hitting a double push here. And uh, Northwood, Northwood is nowhere to be seen. They're actually all over towards the A side. I actually got the B, the, B, the bomb sites messed up last time. 
Um, but yo, McDirty's getting some shots off. And uh, First Blood's actually going to be going over towards Lakeland this time around. McDirty and uh, currently Lakeland just has that middle map control, which is in their advantage. McDirty is just picking them apart right now. Now it is a 3v2 in favor of Lakeland. We put drop in there. Now it's a... 3v1, but we put a drop in there. Um, oh, look at this. Bomb in a tough These players. Oh my <laughs> lord. Oh, that was crazy. Dang. Lakeland's coming out stronger in the SMG than the hard point. Uh, For sure. Does win championships. So really, all you have to do is just put up a good gun or a good fight. I would say in the control, um, to maybe take this to a map five. We're not deep into the SMD, but if they do get that control, they could take it to a map five if they do win this, though. Yeah, I would agree with you. Um, yeah, that was a huge round from Lakeland, um, because I think that honestly would have been devastating if Northwood went, went you know, would have went up 2-0 in this SMD after such a dominating hardpoint uh, performance. But here we go, uh, K top this time for Northwood's going to be picking up a first blood, but kills are getting traded back and forth. That is now two dead actually in favor of Lakeland, and um, a Bank's going to be picking up a nice nade kill there. And uh, currently now, once again, a 3v2 advantage for Lakeland. This bomb down. One of these guys, uh, Beach House, is going to have to get this bomb. It oh. does put them in a weird scenario now. It is a 2v2. If they do get this B down, they're going to have to play together. They do have one number seven. He is far on A. They don't even realize that bomb's going down B. They're going to rotate through their back spawn. Maybe try to set up a pinch here. But a normal spot to play is Beach House, so they're going to look for that number one player in A Bank in top Beach House. So let's see what Bleepa can do. He's been frying all, all game, the first one and the second one. Yeah, Bleep Bleepa. Coming up. Oh my goodness. The timing here is impeccable. Bleepa does not spot either one of these players. He spot. He I, oh, team. he didn't see him. Oh, he man. He gets caught down. Slushy, though, picks up one. That's where he's at. Oh my gosh. He only has 11 seconds, though, on the clock. Trophies are going to be down in... Oh, wow. A-Bank's playing that perfectly, and that's a round win for Lakeland. That was huge patience out of A-Bank there. He could have easily, you know, child that, and, and uh, you know, he could have died. But huge round from Lakeland there. Dang. I honestly thought uh, North Northwood was going to clutch that for a second, but Lakeland takes the game. Um, I mean, either way, though, I think Lakeland definitely should have taken that round. I mean, they were up 3-2 to two in life count, and then uh, I think it was Slushy that ended up picking up a kill and then made it a 2v2, but... Lakeland still ends up closing out. Um, and now they're actually up 2-1. to one. This is a big round right here. Uh, Bleepa what do you want to start with? And Slushy. I want to start with uh, Bleepa. Bleepa? All right. He did a big first map. Uh, him and Slushy both went big, mostly Bleepa. But he's got to he's gotta put some, some work in here. He's got to get a pick. He's got to take control of this map with this AR. Um, on raids, there's a lot of AR lanes. Yeah, and last time around, um, if you remember, Supreme, uh, Lakeland got that mid-map control. And as you can see again, Lakeland have mid-map control. So we're going to see if, uh, you know, Lakeland can punish Northwood again because that's what they did. But this time around, it's going to be, oh, some team shots there. Uh, Northwood actually going to be picking up the first two kills, um, which is massive. Because last time, Northwood got picked apart from middle map. But now they're going to be getting bomb site down at A. And it's uh, 2v4 or 2v3 now. Uh, advantage for Northwood. I think mid-map control is a big factor in this game mode, in this map in general. Um, but the fact that they had cleared out laundry already doesn't set up a pinch at all. So they're just going to sit back. They're going to play lives. It's down to a 2v2 now. Oh, K-Top gets spotted. No oh my goodness. Beautiful trades there. That was a well-needed round right there. Uh, if Lakewood went up 3-1 there, they had all the momentum in the world. Yeah, that's very true. And McDirty, as you can see, they're getting the best play of the game, but it's not going to matter because Northwood take the round to tie up this S&D 2-2 two two now, 2 apiece. Um, honestly, both teams are looking pretty solid. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm already... I I'm thinking this is going to go to a uh, round 11. What do you think, Supreme? If Weepa starts showing up like he did last round, got that first round pick, uh, got a second one, I feel like this could go round 11, but if he starts heating up... This could be a very scary game. And I, I was going on board with Vaxler there. I might be butchering his name, but I, I was hoping, you know, he could get something started because he's having a 1-5 in five start over there for the side of Lakeland. Not having the best start and uh, gets gets picked apart right away. And now it's a 3v3 
scenario for both teams here. And uh, Bomb does go down, though, for the side of Lakeland. And McDirty and uh, A-Bank are going to be holding this backside uh, jungle here. Uh, seeing, if, uh, seeing if Northwood can break through. This is another factor, like I said before. Is they, they plant the bomb, they push out laundry. All they have to do is play time and watch their plane. It's easy. There's a trade, now it's a 2v1. All they have to do is play time. Hey, oh, Smitzy. They, he knows where he's at, 14 seconds. He doesn't have to do anything. Just sit and play his life. Ooh, you heard him slide. Yeah. The round for Lakeland. That mid-map control is so big, especially on offense. Um, on defense, it is big too, but you just gotta stay alive back laundry. You know, yeah. that's that's mainly why they're winning the rounds. And Lakewood, Lakeland's coming out pretty hot in S&D. Uh, you know, it could go round 11. I, I think it's gonna go game 5. If Lake, Lakeland starts playing good like this in the control, they could send this to a game 5. Yeah, I would agree with you. That was a, definitely a massive round there for the side of Lakeland. Um, that was a huge defensive hold after they put the bomb down, you know, holding jungle side. As you said, I mean, you know, that's all they needed to do was just sit there. They didn't have to play, you know, push anything out. They really just needed to hold that position, and that's exactly what they did. And now Lakeland are uh, taking it 3-2 to two currently in favor of them. I actually want to go back on uh, on board with Vaxler uh, here. You know, currently 1-5, but, you know, their team is still getting it done. He's getting carried right now. And, uh, I mean, you know, I guess that's a good side uh, for Lakeland, but also kind of a scary thing for Northwood. You know, if, if Vaxter does start to pick it up, that could be another advantage, you know, for Lakeland um, later on in this, you know, map. Um, oh, looks like a player just fell off the map. <laughs> now she's fell off the map. Oof. The place are right there. You hate to see it, but uh, looks as you guys can see, Bomb goes down, though, right, for in favor of Northwood here. There's already 30 seconds left on the clock, and that's already two down. Make that four down <laughs> Already for Lakeland, wow, Northwood that taking that. That was a fast round. round. And I mean, hey, when you make mistakes like that, you can't fall off the map. I mean, as you can see right there, it was a clean wipe in Northwood. I mean, that was just a free round, honestly, for Northwood. That's where it comes down to mid-map control. You know, it could be good, it could be bad. Especially going waterside on this map. If you have someone watching that flank, like, I forget who was top. He was watching the flank laying down. That gunfight is just... You can't win that gunfight if you have an AR sub. You know, you gotta have a miracle happen. And, you know, they're coming right back at them. Lakeland's coming right back at them at a, at a B push. Yeah, but Smitzy, but, though, he's gonna get around. This is the flank I'm talking about. Yeah, Smitz, Smitzy's gonna get through, and uh, these Lakeland players have no idea. Smitzy, though, is he gonna check his corner? Oh, my lord. There we go. Vaxler picking up his second kill of the series. Wow, that was a massive kill for Vaxler there. I honestly thought Smitzy had it, but uh, they know where one is. They, they know where Tom is. Yeah, Lakeland's actually gonna rotate over to the side of uh, A now, and I think there's a player though. Isn't there a Northwood player behind him here? Oh no, K Top's still sitting here. Did he? I don't. Did he spot him? He didn't spot him. Mick Dirty gets through to A. Mouse is still sitting back here though. K Top's in a pretty um, I mean, this is a good position he's got here, but. If you can spot these players, I think he spotted one there. So K Top should know that they're going to be going. To oh, he definitely had to spot him there. No, he didn't. He no? Didn't. no he didn't. Oh, almost picks him, but 3v2, though. Still in favor of Northwood. Oh, my goodness. K Top, though, going to be cleaning up the last kill there. Northwood taking another round on the board. That was a clean round for uh, Northwood. Even though, I honestly, I mean, it, it was looking good for uh, Lakeland, though, because Vaxler got that pick, but it didn't matter. The fact that they did not clean that kill up right away when they knew he was still mid-map Z. The, the uh, player with Bomb and McDirty saw him go in the corner in Z. There were two players there. They should have just floored him, got that pick. Would have been a 3v2. Would have been a way easier matchup to be up against. And this this Northwood and Lakeland team, they're, they're favoring this B side. Yeah, K-Top, uh, the bomb carrier here. I think he's going to be getting be bombed down right away. Um, or he's just going to get a nice little angle here. But he's in the wide open. Vaxler can easily see him, though. K-Top with a beautiful nade back basketball. Going to get him weak. Going to make him back up a little bit. And uh, once again, Northwood has a life advantage. 4-3 to three right now. And uh, K-Top's looking to try to get this bomb site down. Um, Smitzy's currently holding that middle map. And uh, we'll see if uh, Northwood can, can hold it. It's a 3v1. All they gotta do is get bombed down, sit beach, 
and they know he's back basketball. They're just gonna start chucking nades, chucking stuns. They might even fly at him. But this this round's over. It's gonna be five to three. Oh, that trophy didn't even matter. <laughs> K Top is still gonna stun him, and uh, yeah, this is it, this round is definitely over. There's no way Vaxter pulls off a miracle here. It, it would have to take a lot of mistakes for uh, Northwood to lose this round. And uh, K-Top's oh. just messing with him. He's just toying with him. K-Top is just playing info. He should, he, every time he sees him, it's another second or two that's off the time. He knows he's back there. Oh, he's pushing him. He's going to fly at him. I honestly thought he saw him there. I don't know why he checked the corner. I really thought he knew he was there. But uh, there's only two seconds on the clock. Doesn't matter. Northwood Bleepa. still does pick up the kill. What was that bleep of? Is it bleep of again? Bleepa took him right off the head. He Bleepa back at it again. Look at this. Oh my lord. Nice shots from Bleepa. 5-3 to three now in favor of Northwood. I mean, man, if, if Northwood takes this SD, that's going to put him 2-0 up in this best of five series. And all they need to do is win a control. And they could close out this series very, very fast. McDirty needs to... They need to just play together. They need to step it up. They need to run together. They're playing too separate. Uh, McDirty is not getting... He's getting killed, and then the trade's not coming in, which that's a big part of S&D. You know, you got to go one for one. If you don't go one for one, it's it's going to end up bad. And this is this is the mid. No one's watching the flank. You got five and six. You got six and you got eight Oh. Up. That was a massive first the blood there. Beautiful nade from McDirty. Um, I think he knows he knows the player is under here, but he has the bomb as well. So I feel like he's got to be kind of careful. That's already two down for Lakeland. He's gonna get. Oh my lord! I can't believe he survived that. But now it's a two v two scenario. Bleepa's got this kill. Bleepa's got this kill. Bleepa had... Bleepa. Oh no! I didn't even see it. Bomb's gonna go down. Oh, and the timing. One v one. K top versus uh, McDirty here. Thirty seconds on the McDirty clock. McDirty stepped it up in this round. He got two kills in this round already. He has bomb. He knows the guy's oh, back. Oh my goodness. If he goes around, he'll be fine. This timing, he though. This timing. Oh, the shot. Oh, oh my lord. Oh. He just gets absolutely turned on. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Make dirty. At the very end, he tried to snap on him from top laundry down to the corner. That's just a routine kill. He doesn't even see him. Oh my lord, dude. Oh, I feel so bad for McDirty. If we could get some prayers in the chat for my guy. That is just... That That one's gonna sting, man. I mean, my guy was shooting circles. Wow. I mean... He should've just kept the sub out there. He, did, he had no reason to bring out the pistol. The, you know, the sub just fries at close range. He already had him half health. I, I honestly uh, really wish... Slide cancel. I really wish I would've stayed on... um. Who was that? Uh, K Top? Was that K Top right, who got that kill? Yeah, K Top. I really, I really wish I would have stayed on his POV there because I would have. I mean, we were still able to see it, but I would have loved to just see like the snap. But man, that was really favoring Lakeland there. You know, towards the end of that, I mean, you know, one v one, you see McDirty, you know, plays it perfectly. You know, he he flanks around and K Top's kind of holding that angle, but he didn't. He you know he he wasn't able to see to the far left of him, and McDirty had a free kill. To, to, to bring Lakeland, you know, closer to potentially coming back in that series and or coming back in that map and just not able to make it happen. Wow. That 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 is absolutely devastating for the side of Lakeland. And uh I mean, I feel like that's definitely gonna play a huge factor in this control, you know? Like that that is just not the way you want to end out. I mean, you're already down 0 2, and then to make things even worse, you get turned on to to to, to lose the S and D. That is just devastating. <laughs> this control they need to come out in a clean slate they need to regroup they need to talk they need to calm down this control is big they have to make sure that they get the kills out of their base it is checkmate too this is a big spawn killing map Weepa is gonna have a blast playing i want to switch this now right yeah okay make sure you change your primary colors somewhat so i did actually see on the i i changed the blue and yeah, no, I changed both their colors. Should I change? Should I be changing them again? Chats are good. Well, no, because the primary. You have to change your primary. Wait, primary. Hello. You gotta change the um, primary of at least one of them. Oh, uh, I thought I did. Well, one of them I did, but I'll change it to purple. Uh, yeah, we're good. Sorry about that. 
No, you're good. I, just, I, was, I was looking at the map and I saw all blue. I was like, what the heck? Although somebody was also talking to me in game chat. <laughs> That's why I said we're good. He said, is the cast ready? Well, I, I think I had like a blue color on for Northwood. And then I think Lakeland, I had like a bluish as well. Well, it was actually like a purplish. I don't know. But I think I changed it to straight purple that time. Yeah, what, are, what team are you sub for? Uh, Northwood. Northwood? Yeah. Ooh. You got some heavy hitters over there with Bleepa. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard. coming out too. Yeah, no, there's a lot of good players on the Northwood roster. And uh, we also just recently picked up Chris Radial. And I know you know of him. Oh, yeah, I know Chris. So that's I'm super exciting. Bleepa here first. Bleepa? All right. Yeah, you can I make that happen. Him, see what he does. See how they play this. Top lane is going to be a big factor. You see three of them going right away. That just shows you how much of a factor it is. As two go down right away. Yeah. Um, I mean, Northwood's already getting this uh, control here on the A zone. And Bleepa's just absolutely frying right now. Oh, my Lord. Schmidt, this top lane, that's huge because that wastes time. They already got one cap in. They have two minutes and ten seconds on the clock. They know they're going to be spawning back wood. Number two is big. If, oh, gosh. If they push up to those stairs. There we go. And they get that control and just look back spawn. How do I? I don't know what I did. Uh, got a, we got a little bumper. We got a little aerial view. I kind of like this, actually. Wait. I can't get out of it. That's right, bumper. Wait, I did. Oh gosh. Oh wait, there we go. I got it. Go. Yeah, I was trying to mess with I was trying to pull like do some different stuff, but I'm just gonna try to stick to it. Cause I'm trying to figure out how I can click on the players without like see how I have to keep rotating yeah. through. You oh you can't? Yeah. Yeah, you oh, can. I didn't know that. That's yeah. kinda that's kinda lame. Well, we got K Top holding the left side of the plane here. Uh, I'm gonna get picked off though, but Northwood has a really good start. They still have a minute and twenty to capture uh the B point here after capturing A so fast and uh the slaying is just I feel like it's just too much for Lakeland to handle. It, it, they are just pushing them back to the spawn. Uh, number seven is going to be big here. If he gets to go on the way, or get to this other trade, Schmidt almost went big. They're going to be pushing. They, they're all going to spawn back. What if they get, if they get Bleeper up on the right side of the map, and they push them up towards the stairs, this could be detrimental to everything that involves kills and they just four stack it They're wow the they, they just about the kills. they literally just got another four down and they were they were all able to four stack that man northwood is looking strong in this control and i mean i expected it to happen i mean already with how this series is going you know i mean northwood obviously already up 2-0 with a, if you guys are just tuning in with a very dominating hard point fashion i think it was like 250 to 49 the S D was a little closer i think what it was at 63 and now we're in the control with Northwood up 1-0. And uh, they're still looking dominant. The slaying power is just too much for Lakeland. Um, you know, we'll see how it is on the defense side here for uh, Northwood. We'll see if, you know, maybe Lakeland can potentially, um, you know, try to do something on this offensive side. They sent four top mid. Oh, my. Did you see the kill feed? And a... <laughs> no he's shot. People. He's taking advantage of this. He's going to spawn them out deep back blue. Oh. Which is going to force them to run through every single play. Oh, All man. do is hold a pre -aim. That's it. You can see Mouse just spawned up. It. Another player just spawned up. Dirty. They're just going to keep spawning on that back crate. They do get two kills. They are pushing up the, the map a little bit. But Seven goes right to top lane, which is... Val goes straight to top lane, which is huge on this map. If you don't have top lane, you cannot win this map. We was close to streaks here. He's one kill off. This could be very huge. He knows he's in green. Oh, nice kill. kill. They're going to spawn back left on him, but does he pick it up? Oh, I think you heard him slide. Oh! That's the, that's the cruise missile right there. That's, Jeez. That's big. And there's only 19 seconds left on the clock, and they haven't even touched a point, Supreme. They haven't even touched a point yet. And this man, Bleepa, is just playing pubs in the back of their spawn. The main thing is, is you just gotta play kills when you're in the spawn. Who's in- who's still in their spawn? K-Top. Vaxler. Vaxler's trying to do something. The only player on A right there, and uh, it's just a clinic right now. Northwood is putting on a clinic in the back of their spawn. Yeah, this is just, there's no way. 
I mean, what? I think only one of the players were able to touch the point because Northwood just continuously kept them in their spawn and they played that perfectly. You know, I, I know sometimes teams can get punished for playing too aggressive, but I mean, you when you're winning every gunfight, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're losing, you're winning. You have to play aggressive on this map. You have to put them in a storm trap. I mean, if you look at the, the, the lives remaining, it was 22 to 7 in favor of Northwood. They lost eight lives and killed 23 of them. That's crazy. That is huge. We got six and 11 from a bank. We have four and 11 from McDirt, McDirty. We have four and 11 from Val. We have six and eight from Mouse. No one is positive on that side of the team, which is a big factor because they're just not, they're not playing together. They're pushing up right side. They know they're gonna go this way. But they do have top lane control, which is big. They could push up the map. They could But they're just challenging. They're running into the free aims. Yeah, and that's another it three down. Happen. That's another three down for the side of Lakeland. And, uh, I mean, you know, Lakeland's trying to get that top plane control, but it doesn't even matter because Bleepa is just ripping him off head glitches. And Bleepa and Slushy cap that point, uh, you know, by themselves. And, uh, they're already looking to start getting B. Go to Slushy. Oh, wait. Well, she's playing huge right now in the spawn. He knows they're going to spawn in the back. I mean, he gets taken down. But he, they know he's going to spawn in the back in deep wood if you push up that right side. But Blee pushes in. He, he's in a power position. This, this game's over. Look at spawn up. There's one. One's wood. Uh, it's not playing the big. McDirty's going to pick up one. The streaks, though, are getting called in. Streaks are getting called in. Let's switch over to uh, Bleepa here. Just picking up three kills on the B capture. Is about to go through, and he's just calling in every last streak before the game yeah, ends. It's, it's done. Oh my lord. Northwood comes out with a 3-0 victory in map number three. And not only that, they come out with a 3-0 victory in the series. Absolutely just dominating. As you can see, there's Smitsy picking up that play of the game. But oh my goodness. Lakeland did not stand a chance in this series. I mean, the SD, you know, that was really the only, you know, close, honestly, the close map, to be fair. Um, which I feel like, you know, I feel like for, I mean, a lot of teams that aren't that, you know, dominating in, in respawn, I feel like, a, you know, the s and is like a good map, you know, kind of a swing map for them 100%. to potentially take. But well, <laughs> Checkmate is checkmate's one of the hardest maps to play hardpoint control on. It is oh, I would one agree of the with hardest you. maps. And the fact that they had a control or a checkmate hardpoint and a checkmate Please, control... Bro. It worked in favor of Northwood because between Bleepla, Slushy, between all four of them, they played aggressive, they played as a team, and they just started running. They got the kills, they got the gunfights. That's what they needed. That map is solely based on if you can win your ones and playing as a team. You win your ones, you just saw Bleepla push right up left side of the map to P2. He sat there and just pre-aimed, and they were running into the pre-aim. That's what you need to learn on that map. Is you need to play those spawns. Doesn't matter if it's garrison. Doesn't matter if it's raid. There, every control map, there are ways to play the spawns, and that's that's what Northwood did. They they practiced on that map, and they came out strong. Yeah, they looked they looked very clean on that checkmate map. Uh, I mean, as you guys could literally just witness. I mean, beautiful plays out of them. They played you know very aggressive, which as you said. You know, that's something you have to do on checkmate. I mean, and, and even just control in general. You know, if you get four down, you want to set yourself up in those power positions so you can just try to spawn kill um, and, you know, just continue to take the life count advantage. And, uh, I mean, man, Northwood looking very strong in their, uh, you know, week one matchup um, against Lakeland. Um, I know week two, I don't know exactly. I forgot who they're going to be going up against. Um, and I forgot that I had the option to do like a listen in. And I honestly completely forgot that I, I had the ability to do that because we were having so many technical difficulties at the start. So I do apologize, okay, guys, for not going into a listen-in um, with Northwood because, that, that, I mean, you know, that could have been kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be the end of the series. I mean, that was quick. That happened very fast. Um, shout out to my man Supreme, by the way, for coming on here, okay, and casting with me. We love Supreme, all right? Um, I'm, always, I'm always around if I'm not... Playing some league play or playing with my friends, I'm I'm always around. I honestly I'll be around for next week. If you want me to come next week, I'll come next week. Get some comp knowledge in there.
Oh wait, I think Bleep is trying to talk to me in game chat. Hold on. What's up? How was the stream? I mean, I'm actually still live right now. <laughs> oh, are you really? Oh, my bad. <laughs> now you're good. <laughs> good stuff, by the way. Popping off, my guy. Thanks, brother. Thank you. We, uh, we were all frying today. Yes, sir. It was pretty much just the Bleepa show. I mean, I was pretty much uh, podcasting you the entire time. <laughs> Love to hear that. Love to hear that. I can barely hear him. Got to turn him up. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, that's going to be, that's going to be the end of it. Okay. Um, hopefully, you know, throughout this week, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get to play at some point. Okay. If not, I mean, it's really not the end of the world because I didn't really play that much competitive in this game. Um, so I mean, honestly, I'm def definitely not going to probably play as well as I would like to because I only played a couple weeks of competitive in this game. Um, but you know, my main focus is definitely going to be Vanguard. I'm super excited for the Vanguard season. Um, Bleepo was... Wait, Bleepo was let loose to feed? I mean, facts. That man was just on a tear. Um, Northwood looking really strong. And I'm excited for the rest of the matches. Um, if you guys didn't know, I am a substitute um, currently for the Northwood roster for this currently uh, for this current league. Um, but yeah, man, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the casting. Once again, I apologize for the technical difficulties at the start. Um, I don't know what was going on. I don't know what is wrong with my audio right now. It's absolutely busted. Um, it's probably because I've been trying to delete a bunch of things on my computer because I, I literally never have storage. Um, and I think I just broke something. So I do apologize for the, for the, I mean, at least you guys could still watch the gameplay, but for some reason the, I didn't have any gameplay audio, but hopefully if I do end up casting again, um, I can hopefully fix that. Okay. But yo, shout out to everybody in the stream. Pioneer. Thanks for hanging out. Um, heck yeah. We got Garrett in here. Yes, sir. We got slushy and bleepa. Congrats to you guys, okay? Congrats to the squadron. Congrats to Smitzy. Congrats to you guys, K-Top. You guys played phenomenal. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for me, okay? There's a very long uh, delay on the stream. Um, I'm excited for next week. Yeah, I'm excited for next week as well. Um, I can check, actually. Let me, let me go check real I quick. I want to podcast. I want to cast again. Yeah, this is, that's literally my, this is the first time I've casted in this game, which is, I mean, I've obviously, well, I mean, you know I've casted a bunch, but not in this game. All. yeah no it's it comes different especially with you know a competitive knowledge you know like mine i i can see what people was doing i could see what you know plays they were trying to make on that snd i can understand mid-map control and stuff like that so you know it helps to have someone that has a little more comp knowledge you know than yourself because like you said you haven't played it a lot yeah um, i mean you know certain stuff i play the game 24 7 you know so it's it's kind of nice to have someone helping you out, especially. I mean, and I was having fun. I mean, you know, we've been friends for the longest, and it's just, I was having fun. Yeah, no, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so it looks like week number two, uh, Northwood's going to be going up against Minnesota State University. Ooh, wow. um, I want to cast that. And then I honestly don't really know a lot about these other teams. Um, and then week three is against Adrian College. Week four is Culver Stockton College. I think I pronounced that. Uh, week five, Southeastern Illinois College. Week six, Illinois State University. Week seven, Trine University. <clears throat> week eight, Ferris State. And then week nine is Clearly University. So there's a lot of colleges, okay, to be, to be played against. There's a lot of matches to be played. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it, okay? That's going to do it. Um, seriously, thank you guys again for all hanging out in here. Um, I know I appreciate it, and I know, you know, the Northwood COD team definitely appreciates it as well. Um, and, yeah, thanks again to Supreme for coming on here. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, We'll see you guys for the next match on here, which I'm honestly not even sure when that is. I'm assuming is it maybe it's just every Wednesday night. Um, I'm honestly not 100% sure on that. But, you know, just stay tuned to the social medias, okay, to the Northwood COD page or at Northwood Esport. You guys can follow us there. And, uh, you know, stay up to date with us. But, uh, yeah, thanks, you guys. Thanks again for hanging out, okay? We appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace out.